Rajiv Usef, here we stand one last time. Um, mixed feelings, I suppose? Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's always w uh, weird preparing for these sorts of matches, you know. Never really wanted it to be my last match, so obviously trying to prepare to try and win these matches, but I knew it was going to be very difficult. You know, Jonathan's playing very well this year. A lot of good uh, wins and, you know, going deep into a lot of tournaments. So, yeah, I was just trying to play my best. You know, I started, I knew he was going to come out quickly and it was just, it took a while for me to adjust to his speed, but I thought I tried uh, to, you know, stick in as long as possible and I almost caught up at the end of the second, but it wasn't meant to be. I know you have a little one, uh, maybe even watching this uh, this match today, if he's able to do that. Um, I know it's also been a big thing for you becoming a dad. Uh, is that the main reason, to be honest here, why why this is now has come to an end? Yeah, I definitely think it's one of the biggest reasons. You know, coming or leaving him behind and you know coming back and seeing how much he's changed is is very difficult. You know, luckily we've got FaceTime and you know Skype and stuff like that, so you can always you know speak to them and keep in touch. But yeah, it's nothing like being with your child. Uh, you know, my body is also starting to you know, feel the effects of traveling for 10 plus years and playing lots of tournaments, you know, so, you know, those are the two main things. Obviously, you know, there's other little things that you you sort of come into your, your decision making. But yeah, those are the main things. And then I also assume that we won't be seeing you as a traveling coach, uh, not, not for a couple of years at least. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what's going to be next. Uh, I've obviously spoken with a few people about what's to come, but, you know, I've got a couple of weeks off after this and I just really want to you know, get back in there and just try and rest up. What are one of those things that you really want to do now which you could have done, uh, couldn't have done the last past 10 years? It's prob probably you know, just going, you know, going out for a meal with my wife and when my kid is old enough, but you know, just having like a glass of you know, a drink of some sort you know, uh, and just sort of relaxing. You know, it's, it's, we've been away for so many months of the year, so many weeks of the year, so it's very difficult to always get that holiday time. You know, you've got your specific dates with holidays and stuff like that. So it would just be nice to spend a lot more time with the family and go on holiday whenever I really want to. Uh, yeah, so those are probably the main things. Rajiv, looking back, uh, it's easy to find uh, victories for, for you, but uh, what are those one, two moments that you want to highlight in your career? Yeah, obviously, you know, the Europeans in, in, uh, in Denmark, that was probably my biggest win. Um, yeah, you know, it was playing against two Danish guys in the semi the final in Denmark, you know, it was it was very tough for me to, to come come through that and win that. So, yeah, it's probably my proudest moment, you know, a lot of, you know, I would have liked to have done maybe slightly better in the All England because I always want to do well at home. But, you know, that's uh, getting to the quarterfinals of that is also pretty, pretty special for me. I experienced a Friday night there with a slightly more uh, loud crowd on the Friday. So, that, yeah, that was quite quite nice as well. Rajiv, are there anything you want to say to the fans? I will give you the microphone, then you can just look into the camera and uh, then it's all up to you. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure to play this game you know, for such a long time. I appreciate all the uh, positive messages and also sometimes funny negative messages as well. Um, I've always tried to try my best, try to entertain as much as possible and uh, I hope everyone's enjoyed watching my career as much as I've enjoyed playing it. Thank you.